Welcome, this is part one of the walkthrough for the 2017-2018 SHSAT uh, workbook. We are going to be doing Form A today, questions 58 through 69, which include the new grid-in questions where there are no multiple choice. All right, so let's start with those. Number 58, we have to find x here. So what we have to do is notice that there's a square here, which means it's 90. So we have this 90, and we have this bottom half, which is 72. 90 plus 72 is 162 degrees. All right, number 59, uh, we've got to do a proportion. All right, so we have eight to three, and that's gonna equal uh, 264 over x. 264 times three is going to equal 792. And you divide that by eight, and you get 99. So this one's going to be 99. Let me just double check that. Divided by 8 equals 99. Yes. Okay. Number 60. For what value of w is 4w equals 2w minus 8? So some simple algebra here. Subtract the 2w. End up with 2w equals negative 8. So w equals negative 4 if we divide by 2. All right, so we have 162, 99, and negative 4. Let's move on. Number 61, we've got a survey. Uh, this was on one of the previous tests. But anyway, we have 20 students who say cats, 23 that says dogs. So 20 plus 23 is 43. We have to subtract out the ones that said both because they picked two answers. We can't have that. And then we have to add in the ones that didn't vote. So that's plus 5, and we end up with 45 five students survey. Okay, the sum of two consecutive integers is negative 15. So what equals 15? Uh, seven and eight. Uh, but of course, they're both negative. And if one is added to the smaller integer, that would be here, plus one. Because negative eight is smaller than negative seven. And two is subtracted from the larger integer. We're going to end up with negative nine and negative seven. Uh, what is the product? Multiply these together, and you end up with 63 positive because there's two negatives. Okay, and that is the end of the grid in. So now we're back to our regular multiple choice questions. All right, number 63. Uh, the set of possible values of 5, 7, and 9, so we just have to plug these in. Okay, our equation is 2k equals m plus 3. Let's plug this in. So 5 plus 3 is 8. Divided by 2 is 4. There's one answer. Um, 7 plus 3 is 10. Divided by 2 is 5. And 9 plus 3 is 12. Divided by 2 is 6. So we have 4, 5, and 6, which is answer B. Okay. We've got a bottle that has 500 milliliters. How many liters are there in 24 of these bottles? There are, well, there's going to be... Uh, Two bottles equals one milliliter, so half of that is 12. We end up with 12. All right, in a certain school, course grades range from zero to 100. Adriana took four courses, and she scored 90. He took the five courses, Roberto did, and he got the same uh, total amount of points. So she got 90 times four, which is 360. But he did it in only in five classes instead of four. We just divide by 5, we get 35, 10 left over, 72. So our answer is A. All right, moving on to 66 here. Uh, Jenny starts a game with twice as many marbles as Kiko. Jenny gives Kiko five marbles. So she gives Kiko five marbles. All right, how many marbles did Jenny have to start with? So let's say she started with, let's just pick 40. Kiko would have 20, right? Um, Jenny gives Kiko 5, so she'd be down to 35. She'd be up to 25. 10 more. That's a difference of 10. We got kind of lucky with that question. Uh, our answer was the first one we picked. I just knew it couldn't be E or G because it's got to be an even number since it's half, right? Um, so I just picked the biggest one, and it happened to be the answer. Okay, question 67. In a scale diagram, uh, 0 0.125 equals 125 feet. 
you have to divide those and we end up with 0 0.001 which is A. All right let's go ahead and stop right there uh, we'll do from 68 to 80 in part two. Hope you learned.